I would like to thank you for the continuous support in the past one year, and we are just getting started. As you know, we have uh, not been pushed to be the first movers in blockchain, but have been closely watching uh, as uh, trends have faded, major problems with the earlier security governance and the consensus models have services, and the newer, uh, more effective technology methods have emerged. In the meanwhile, the dedicated developer and operation teams at our two Beijing offices have been busy building, testing, and uh, evolving our approach. And we are excited to launch what we feel is the highest performance public blockchain to date. I'm excited to share the following updates. So first, let's talk about uh, formal verification. You know, formal verification is a set of techniques developed to identify loopholes and the vulnerabilities in hardware and the software. It's a major advantage that it mathematically proves if a program is secure or not. If not, formal verification techniques could give a counterexample to show how the program could go, go wrong. A major blockchain is equipped with a formal verification engine to check every smart contract before it is launched to the, to the mainnet. Strictly speaking, formal verification is not uh, AI techniques, but modern formal verification techniques uh, would use AI to enhance many of its components for better performance or better security. The next technology we are using a lot is the generative adversarial networks, you know, which is a, a so-called GANs. GANs are a powerful tool to learn the underlying distribution of uh, training samples and then generate new samples according to a specific requirement. Uh, they are used in many building blocks of the matrix. From the security perspective, we use GANs to enhance, to refine smart contracts for a better level of uh, security. The major advantage of matrix is that we offer a very high transaction processing throughput. Basically, we take a hybrid POW and POS consensus mechanism. This way, we can enable a high volume on chain throughput by taking advantage of a stochastic clustering algorithm. First, we use stake as a uh, first stage protection to ensure that participants could uh, invest in the health of uh, the whole ecosystem. Second, we use a random clustering algorithm to dynamically create uh, a delicate network consisting of a small number of uh, miners. Uh, this way, we can make it uh, nearly impossible for collusion. So matrix AI network has built the ability to process any form of deep learning algorithm directly over the blockchain. Basically, with our techniques, the blockchain is a super distributed supercomputer so, so that we can support any kind of deep learning uh, jobs. Our blockchain has a gaming set of on-chain AI servers. So with these AI servers, we could offer the first batch of on-chain AI services. This includes, uh, first is the high accuracy object detection in real time. Uh, this, this whole thing is done with our award-winning deep neural networks. The second set of application, AI application, is the image segmentation and the post detection, which plays an essential role for industry and security applications. So the third line of AI application is AI-assisted early detection for lung cancer. And the first application, first set of application is refractor diagnosis with 3D reconstruction and deep learning-based uh, diagnosis. Matrix blockchain has a native support for IPFS uh, file system. Uh, so the, the, the idea is that we allow users to upload files to the interplanetary uh, filing system on our blockchain. The di distributed storage option, in addition to cloud storage, will offer a new level of flexibility and safety in data storage and handling. So for permission system, Matrix securely integrates with the cloud services in terms of computing and storage. This will allow more distributed service to be deployed on the Matrix blockchain. The scarcity of coding talent and lack of security for smart contracts remains, uh, remain to be a major barrier for wider adoption of public blockchains. The natural language processing experts in our team are constantly refining our auto-coding smart contract technology to structure stated transactions into executable code. Uh, Non-experts could use the technology with simple inputs in English or Chinese to generate smart contract. So the matrix blockchain is also equipped with a self-evolving parameter optimization engine. The idea is that uh, our architecture uses GANs 
to evolve parameter selection to dynamically optimize configurations to best serve for different um, uh, environments. This is an important way, essential way, to prevent forking of blockchains. So Matrix uses a smart gateway technology to inter interconnect cloud, LT, of light data and the legacy systems into the matrix network. The gateway offers accounting, addition, translation, and other functionalities to manage uh, different data. Uh, also, we use AI-based verification, which is another way to build enterprise-grade uh, interoperability. Matrix has support for flexible subnet structures, so our multi-chain architecture allows different organizations to customize their operation and services, which are interacting seamlessly within the matrix ecosystem. A subnet has its own data formats, consensus mechanisms, and validation protocols, while at the same time, different chains can make transactions to each other and uh, communicate with each other to share uh, data. Very soon, we will be releasing our new wallet. Besides that, we are also developing a new payment module. This payment module will provide an overview of the ledger and the settlement activities. We support a wide range of advanced transactions with complex conditions. This will serve as a crucial step for advancing uh, real-world applications and managing relationships. There are two specific ways matrix AI screen mining is adding value and making blockchain more ecological. The first thing is that uh, we only use a small number of uh, miners. Only a small group, 21 nodes, will participate in the mining job. All other nodes could uh, export as computing resource for uh, token rewards. The second thing is that uh, in coming months, we will release our AI accelerator, which is a mining machine. The AI accelerator is based on IPGA chips. Uh, these chips will support a uh, dual operation mode. The first mode is uh, mining mode. So when selected as a mining, minor node, uh, it provides uh, mining, uh, will compute the mining functions. And uh, when not selected as a mining word, it, this, this AI chip could uh, provide computing resources, computing power for AI applications. The first round of IPGAs are optimized for deep neural networks and will boost performance of the first tasks of our blockchain AI servers. In addition, uh, we will also adopt federating learning model so that different uh, deep learning tasks can be can be trained on the uh, can be trained and performed on the matrix blockchain while at the same time preserving the privacy. A future direction for our research will be creating a new FPT accelerator which could support all kinds of uh, deep learning tasks, including both training and inference. Currently, we are collaborating with the leading China hospitals for medical applications by taking advantage of AI techniques. Uh, currently, there are two ongoing project, uh, projects. One project is for uh, is AI-based refracture diagnosis. Basically, we simulate how doctor performs the diagnosis. The idea is that uh, starting from the CT scans, we perform a 3D reconstruction to identify the 3D skeleton structures inside the human body. Then, based on this 3D structure, we use deep learning techniques to automatically, automatically diagnose the drip fracture so that we can clearly know where the uh, drip fracture lo is located and as well as uh, uh, how bad the, the fracture is. Uh, the second ongoing project is for cancer, lung cancer diagnosis. So the idea is that uh, we take both the image data, imaging data as well as uh, uh, medical treatment records so that we can predict the remaining life of this patient so that we can help both patients and the insurance companies to design new uh, insurance policies.